The park in downtown Tonkawa could be like the park in any other Oklahoma town. But this park has something you will find nowhere else in the world. They call it the heart in the park, and it's more than just stone set in the ground. It's a labyrinth. I'm here with Tonkawa artist Audrey Schmitz, the labyrinth designer. The pausing stone is here for as you enter the labyrinth to clear your mind and to express why you're here today, why you're taking the walk. And people come for all kinds of reasons. So today we're going to walk because you've never walked one before. That's right. So here we go. A labyrinth, unlike a maze, has no dead ends and all paths lead to the center. The yellow bricks symbolize wheat. Tonkawa calls itself the wheat heart of Oklahoma. The gray divider bricks symbolize the nearby Salt Fork River, which is why the town was founded here. We twist and turn, and the twists and turns can be thought of just like your life, right? A day in your life has twists and turns. So sometimes I walk the labyrinth and think that this is like a whole day of my life. I begin, my life, my day goes one way and then another, but I always make it to the end and have experiences along the way. The labyrinth was Tonkawa's centennial project, and along the outside there are bricks noting moments in the town's history, like the settling of the community in 1893 and the building of the first jail in 1895, one week after free beer night at the local saloon. The very center of the labyrinth is also a heart. Labyrinths are found all over the world, and they've been around for at least 4,000 years. They are therapeutic and meditative. Some people use labyrinths for conflict resolutions. We've had groups use them for um, recovery programs. We've had a lot of children come, grade school, high school groups come and use it. We've had Relay for Life, the American Cancer Society and their, and their annual relay walk that we have. We come to the labyrinth and walk as part of that. And when you come to the end of the labyrinth, you're back at the pausing stone where you can actually become a part of it. We encourage them as they leave to come back to the pausing stone and just rub your hand over the wheat shafts of it. You can see the wheats are a little bit more shiny than the rest because people do this. And this leaves a bit of your energy. We say leave a little bit to yourself with Heart in the Park.